Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. What's up guys, it's Elias with this week's kayak column from, for the Fisherman Magazine. This week we're going to talk to you about the tubing worm. Tubing from the kayak especially is a super popular way to catch striped bass for both newbies and experts. And we'll talk about some best practices and a few tips and trips, tricks that go along the way with fishing the tubing worm. So check this out. Alright, so one of the things that um, I'd like to talk about first is understanding what the tubing worm is. Um, what is this supposed to look like? So basically the way this rig works is uh, most guys do know the basics that you tip this with a sandworm or if you don't have access to real fresh sandworms you can tip this with a gulp of live worm. But what it does is um, the profile of the tube makes in the water column it's like a coiling snake right or like an eel almost. So basically the swivel over here coils and basically have this lifelike looking eel. It has a real nice looking profile in the water column. Um, typically uh, the most popular colors tend to be in red and pink. Um, bright, the brighter the colors seem to attract bluefish a little better in my experience, but red's a pretty good standby. And um, if you're looking to shop for tubes for the first time right now, I recommend picking up moldable wire so you can kind of change the shape and fix the shape after a few fish hit. But uh, this is a pretty standard shape to make it look like this coil uh, it looks resembles kind of like an eel. You usually run about you know three to five feet of uh, leader material. Um, if you're fishing rocky areas like Long Island Sound and, and the North Shore, you want a stronger leader and you want a very high uh, pound test main line. So I'm talking about 50 pound braid. Um, a striped bass will break you off in rocks, no problem. The last thing that's really important and specifically worth mentioning is this is a ball bearing swivel over here. You cannot get away with fishing the tube with a regular barrel swivel. The line twist will make this almost unfishable. So a ball bearing swivel is your best bet at keeping your line twist uh, to a minimum. I really recommend adding this to any tube and worm rig. And it also does help the action if it's you know spinning more naturally. Um, but other than that, you know, to keep it basic, I usually fish these in waters no deeper than 15 feet. You can start adding keels to the combo as well to get down a little deeper. Uh, on choppier days you might need it more. Um, but uh, I generally don't end up using keels because when I start needing to fish this type of rig for deeper water, to me it doesn't apply. But however, they can be used in marshes. Um, if you're fishing in marshes and you know shallower stuff that doesn't have rocks or structure in particular, you can definitely use lighter test. The only reason I have this rigged up here with uh, a 50 pound leader and mentions 50 pound braid is because of the fact that you know if you're fishing in rocks you're gonna definitely want to go with a higher test so uh, but that basically covers you know as a good intro um, you know just to wrap it up real quick moldable wire um, ball bearing swivels uh, these are the things that are gonna make a huge difference gulp versus regular sandworms if you have access to regular sandworms they do work better but Gulp sandworms do work just fine as well. So, all right, guys, that's it for me. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed that. Um, we'll uh, catch you next week with uh, next week's kayak column. Tight lines, guys. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season long multiple species subscriber only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.